What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Cup Series here on NBCSN. We are here at Bristol Motor Speedway. The last great coliseum for the Sharpie 500. And, uh, yeah, last time we came here, the track was covered in dirt. But we're back on the paved Bristol Motor Speedway. Um, how the track was originally built to be run. And uh, we're getting ready for some absolute chaos here from Bristol Motor Speedway as Mark Martin is your pole sitter out in front of the field. And the green flag is out. We're right now racing once again, or racing for the first time here at Bristol. And Mark Martin early lead here last week's winner Jamie McMurray starting inside the top 10 but immediately falling back here as he's stuck on the outside look at Kurt Busch in the 97 machine trying to hold off the 48 of Jimmy Johnson Excuse the noise you may have heard. That was me bumping into my bumping into my mic. A little bit of three wide action further back. There are cars everywhere. Jimmy Johnson all over the back bumper of Kurt Busch trying to figure out a way to get past. Might just have to move him out of the way here. Looks like that's what he's shaping up to do. <clears throat> Mark Martin trying to hold off Dale Earnhardt Jr. in that eight car. Jr. right on his tail. Martin doing his best not to open the door. He opens it up just a little bit there. Here comes Dale Jr. got his nose in there. Couldn't quite make it stick. Chris Mack further back in the 86. We know he's pretty well, he does pretty well on these shorter tracks races in Money Slate Model Racing Division, so we know he's going to be good at short tracks. And he's working his way up, catching these two. Oh, a little wiggle there through three and four. Coming across the start finish line, Mark Martin still in the lead here. Oh, and Chris Mack really drove it in there that time. What's he going to do? Oh, he's got a great run off of turn two. Dives down to the inside of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Let's go on board with that 86 machine. And he's going to clear Junebug off of two. Or off of four. Now down the front, or back stretch once again off of two. And dives to the inside of Mark Martin. Side by side. going to almost clear. He's puts himself in the wall. And now here comes Dale Jr. He's going to slide up and dump him. And into the wall goes Chris Mack back down the track, collects Jimmy Johnson. Oh, a huge hit. Nowhere for Sterling Marlin to go. The track is almost completely blocked. A massive crash off of turn two, taking out multiple cars. And Chris Mack, one of the main ones, getting absolutely destroyed here. Oh, and now leaders coming in as they are stopped and they are checking up big time. They're slamming into each other. Mark Martin, the race leader at the time of the caution, or P2, I should say, at the time of the caution, gets some damage as well as Jeff Gordon and Greg Biffle. So, the caution shenanigans going to happen here. This is a really small track, so I'm not surprised about that. Wait, now you're a leader to come through. There he is. All right, let's hurry up and get back to the action here. Green flag is out once again. And... That should be an indicator that this race will be anything but smooth. We might have some carnage here today. Might have an absolute junkyard. There's a 60 of Jason Leffler and, the, and his teammate. The zero of Ward Burton. Left 
Butler gets down in front of Brendan Gaughan. Burton's still stuck on the high side. They're three wide. Back down to two off of turn four. Couple cars on pit road. They're getting some repairs there. That's Mark Martin and Terry Labonte. And an update after uh, Michigan last week. Ryan Newman is clear at the race here today. Injuries weren't too severe. Just a few minor ones. Which I guess you call him lucky. Because he took some massive hits last week. Got upside down. This arc break big time. There's some names you may not be seeing in the field. Michael Waltrip is one of them. Because they got suspended. After uh, some serious cases of ARCA breaking. Jeff Gordon is not in the race, however. He is being replaced. And neither is Rusty Wallace. Um, they've got some injuries there. But Gordon... Uh, and, I, I, and I do apologize for saying Jeff Gordon uh, earlier today. Um... 24 was actually being driven by Jerry Nadu, uh, Nadu here today. The two, Rusty Wallace's car, is being driven by uh, Mike Wallace, his brother, once again. Just like last season, when he went on to win the championship. But, oh wait, no. Rusty got suspended for arc breaking. That's right. How could I forget? The 18 this week. Let me make sure really quickly. Okay. The 18 this week is being driven by. Hmm. I'm trying to think of someone. <laughs> um. Shoot, I really don't know who. Uh, who is driving the 18 at the moment? I'll think of it later when the name comes to my comes to mind but we got trouble on the backstretch car around that's the 91 of bill elliott keeping it green as he keeps it rolling so so uh yeah that mg cup series officials not really wanting to throw another caution and bunch these guys back up once things started going smoothly 25 of brian Vickers with a few cars to his inside trying to hold them off kyle bush in the 84 Almost got turned by Ricky Craven. There's J.J. Yaley in the 11. And the 18. Remember the 18. Not being driven by Bobby Labonte. Labonte is suspended. For, uh, Arca breaking. Suspended drivers are allowed to have backup drivers, or replacement drivers, as you've seen in the past. But, um, it's just really hard to find replacement drivers. So, the 18, actually being driven by Mike Wallace here today. Um, no, that makes no sense. Hold on. Let me think of someone else to say, um driving to 18 because it's not Mike Wallace wouldn't make any sense because he could replace Rusty um, alright you know what to heck with it 18 is being driven by Ricky Hendrick once again Hendrick is back from his injury um, that took him out of the 5 car after he was replacing Terry Labonte and now Ricky Hendrick in the 18 for Joe Gibbs. Nice to see him get another opportunity here. As he's running, as he's running inside the top ten. 
this pass by Casey Kane. Kane just moved him up out of the way. He's going to get freight trained a bit here. But thank goodness Ryan Newman isn't seriously injured. And he's back racing here today. Quite a bit of soreness and uh, pain for Newman. But it's not stopping him from racing here today. He was medically clear to compete. But um, obviously shaken up still after what happened last week. Johnny Benson is suspended for the rest of the season. Because that was his second case of ARCA breaking. As well as he was also handed out another hefty fine. And, uh, so was, who, who else, Arca Break, uh, Morgan Shefford is out for a couple of races for Arca Breaking as well. I don't believe he was involved in the first incident. Um, John Andretti is also taken out for Arca Breaking. He'll be out for the rest of the season. Caution is out. see what it's for. Looks like it might be for the 22 of Scott Wimmer. Yeah, it was. Wimmer gets clipped down the racetrack by Brian Vickers and then just couldn't get slowed down in time. Came back across the track and wiped out the 25. Getting ready to go green once again here. But yeah, John Andretti is uh, out for the rest of the season as well as Johnny Benson for ARCA breaking and Morgan Shefford suspended for three races for ARCA breaking also find the 49 of Ken Schrader is out for this race for LePaging the field um, just a little lap traffic shenanigan he had there Dale Jr. your leader and we got trouble already here. Hard hit for Mike Skinner. That's going to take him out. And we are still green. With Skinner limping along on the bottom of the racetrack here. He's trying to keep it rolling. A couple cars down on the apron for some reason. They're going to keep it straight. Three wide off of two. Skinner, or Bliss. Still out on the racetrack. Did I say Mike Skinner? I meant Mike Bliss. A little bit of contact further back as well. Still green. Has the 18 of Ricky Hendrick on his back bumper. Oh, and around goes Elliott. Back across the track. Big crash. Wiping out multiple cars. Collected about four more. It takes Bill Elliott out of the race. Bill Elliott on a part-time schedule here for the 90, driving the 91 for uh, Ray Evernham. And that's going to take him out of today's event. Gonna go green once again.
Oh, I hear some contact somewhere, and it's Kyle Bush and Tom Hubert into the outside wall, bringing out a ye another yellow here today. Whoa, is that Corey LaJoy? And we are ready to go green once again. And as you can see, most of the field is a lap down or out of this thing here. Coming to lead the funny lap is Dale Jr. as he takes the green once again. Jamie McMurray trying to get back onto the lead lap here. Ward Burton and uh, Kurt Busch looking to get back onto it as well. Scott Wimmer going to try to follow through. Kevin Harvick, everybody trying to freight train the leader. That's different. Contact being made. They keep it straight. Go on board with the 20 of Tony Stewart as he gets freight trained by a lot of lap cars here. And down to one and two, or three and four once again. There's Ryan Newman down on the bottom. Now Newman cannot take another big hit today. Lucky not to have a concussion, <laughs> to be completely honest. That was a huge impact on Johnny Benson. And uh, we're not sure how long Jeff Gordon will be out for. But hopefully it doesn't affect them too badly in points. Obviously today's race will affect them pretty big time. Are pretty big here. Here today, as he was taken out. Pretty big time. Quote of 2021. Looks like we've got another caution. No, we're still green. They just checked up big. I need to stop saying big time. They checked up big time there. <laughs> as, uh, looks like someone might have hit the apron. But we're keeping it straight for now. Clicking off as many laps as we can for the inevitable caution that comes out once again. Because these guys are all over each other's bumpers and uh, trying to move each other out of the way. It's a matter of time before someone else gets sent down the racetrack. We got the 84 Kyle Bush stuck on the high side here. Jason Leffler to his inside. Bush up into the outside wall. As he tried to carry some speed and momentum on the high side and hold those guys off. Dale Jr. That's a pretty big lead. They got some out cars separating him. And Ryan Newman, who's in second place here after being hurt last week. Newman's a very tough guy, I'll tell you that. Look at this, the zero of Ward Burton and K Kurt Busch in the 97. As I bump into my mic again. Oh, and around goes Kurt! Into the inside wall. Going to keep it straight, but slides back across the track, collecting Kevin Harvick. Caution comes out once again. I knew it was going to happen. You, we all knew it was going to happen. You knew uh, the second um, we went green. 
that way we would get another caution. So uh, let's go ahead, get back to the drop of the green. Green flag is back out. We're racing once again. Here comes Dale Jr. to lead once again and just pulls away from the rest of the field. Ryan Newman stuck on the high side. He's going to get freight trained here. Whoa. Hubert drove it in there and almost didn't even make the corner. They're three wide off of four. Contact being made. They're bouncing off each other, but they're keeping it straight. Look at Kyle Bush in the middle of all of that. Whoa. 19 to Jeremy Mayfield got clipped down the racetrack. Oh, and I thought that was going to be a wreck. Hermie Sattler got up into the outside wall. Oh, into the wall goes Tom Hubert. Pretty hard hit for him there as well. He's got more damage to that 72 machine. He might have to bring it in. Tony Stewart being held up by Brian Vickers. Stewart doesn't appreciate that. He's got Dale Jarrett right behind him as well here. Remember who won last time we came here to Bristol on the on the pavement? Um, other than Hideo Fukuyama, obviously, uh, it was actually Dale Jr. taking the win over Dale Jarrett. So I get a repeat of that that uh, finishing order if Jarrett can get by Tony Stewart for second. Eighteen, trying to get by Hermie Sattler. Sattler about cleared himself. Hermie sideways off of turn two. He saves it. I thought he was going to take out the eighteen of Ricky Hendrick. We are now within 50 to go here from Bristol. And it's been one chaotic race here today. But relatively no competition for the lead. Battle for second though. So we've got Dale Jarrett still trying to run down that 20 machine and get by him. He's got a good run off of turn four, but couldn't quite go anywhere with it. Wasn't a big enough run to carry the momentum off of the corner and get underneath him. But he's still trying.
there are cars every oh big crash and Tom Hubert caught up in another one here and that's Dale Jarrett who was running second and I was just trying to find J Jarrett's car right before that crash happened let's go on board with him and see what what took place oh nowhere to go oh Dale Jr. Your race leader caught up in it as well. What happened here? Hold on. This is going to change everything. JJ Yaley gets sent down the racetrack. Collecting your race leader, Dale Jr. And then, oh, big hits. And then Tony Stewart sneaks by on the high side. He's going to have the lead. His two contenders just got taken out. His only competition in this race just got wiped out by lap traffic shenanigans here at Bristol. That is the most Bristol thing you will ever see. And oh my goodness, Tony, look out. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Look out. Don't don't tear your stuff up, man. Don't tear it up. Under caution. So Tony Stewart looks like he might be on the way to a second career win here in the MG Cup Series, but... Dale Jr. not going to make that easy for him. He's still back there, but he's gonna, he's got a lot of damage. It's going to be a lot more difficult for him to uh, to perform. And the green flag is out once again. Dale Jr. trying his best to keep up, but look at the damage on that car. He's not going to... Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> He's not going to be going anywhere. Oh, contact! And another wreck here on the restart. And another big one, I should say. Ricky Hendrick caught up in it. Elliot Sattler, Joe Nemechek, Casey Mears, and Kurt Busch got the worst of it, it seems. And we're back under caution. Alright, let's send them off once again. Green flag in the air. We're racing once again here from Bristol. Dale Jr. doing everything he can to try to run down that 20 of Tony Stewart, but with all that damage, it's very hard for him. It's not going to be going anywhere. There are cars everywhere down the backstretch. The aggression ramping up big time, as you can see here. As these guys know, they are nearing the end of, end of the race, and Casey Kane about turned the 43 of Jeff Green. And they're three wide further back. Two rows to three wide. Kurt Busch in the middle. Not backing out of it. is your race leader is the 20 of Tony Stewart and he is in the world of his own out in front right now. The gap getting bigger and bigger between him and Dale Jr. Look at Ryan Newman trying to take second away from Junebug here and Junebug might, have, might not really have a choice but to just give him the position because look at the damage on that car he's not going to really be competitive anymore. Oh, and the caution is out once again. Had another wreck in the back. Hermie Sattler involved in it. Looks like another situation where it's pretty much the same deal. Another situation where a car gets sent down the racetrack, slides back across the track, and collects more. Green once again, hopefully for the final time here today. I like for them to end it under green. Man, 
this is absolute chaos here. Drivers are getting very aggressive. Look at Mike Skinner underneath Hermie Sattler there. I'm not that's not even for that's not even for position. Most of the field to lap down, only 16 cars left in the lead lap here. Brendan Gaughan, the last car in the lead lap, having a pretty good day here today. A solid run and a solid finish for him. Three wide, Dale Jr. on the outside of two Ray Everham cars, and they squeezed and about collided, trying to get by him there. Casey Kane and his teammate, uh, Jeremy Mayfield. Getting by, and Dale Jr. dropping like a rock here. In the back, and Kyle Busch is just gonna flip the oh the zero car over. And honestly, when I saw this, I immediately thought there was a caution. I didn't look at the caution lights. I didn't even realize we were still green after all that. So a car upside down on the racetrack, and they kept it green. And uh, yeah, what happened was, as you see, Kyle Busch with damage. Kyle got sent down the racetrack, he did not appreciate that, turned right back up the track, took out the zero, and then toppled him over pretty slowly there, as he saw at the tail end of that, ten, yeah, tail end of that wreck, just flipped him over. I guess that's one way to get your point across. But Tony Stewart, the Indiana kid, on his way to getting a second career MG Cup Series win. Two laps to go here from Bristol. And here we come. Off of turn four, white flag in the air. One more time around for Tony Stewart. Smoke comes off of turn four for the final time. Tony Stewart's gonna get his second career win here at Bristol. A chaotic race with a calm finish as Stewart cruises to a victory. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the point standings now after Bristol. Up next is the Southern 500 at Darlington. Let's look at your points. Jeff, uh, Jeff Gordon still in second. Uh, gonna have to hope his stub does the absolute best that he can. Jimmy Johnson, still your points leader. Jimmy McMurray, third in points after that third win this season here. But yeah, um, that's what your points look like. I guess we can scroll down a little bit too here as you can see um, the last couple of drivers and points. But yeah, that's uh, going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. Hope to see you guys next time. And until then, peace.